Hey, so here we are at Cross State Park. We're getting ready to do a hike, 10 miler, around the lake, and uh, we'll end up in this spot again. So say hello, Margaret. Hello, Margaret. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Margaret, you're gonna give us a report. Yes, okay, so total steps, 24,788. Total time on the trail, including stops for breaks, five hours and 14 minutes and 45 seconds. Total mileage, 9.70. How about that? And we started at seven o'clock this morning, maybe two minutes before. Started at this uh, arena for the horses here at Cross State Park. And it was a really enjoyable hike. We saw so many things, including some scary snake, a scary <laughs> snake. And uh, some beautiful butterflies and all kinds of other things like that. Been a great hike. Don't you think? Yes. So on our 10 mile hike around Lake Craig at Cross State Park, Margaret and I were walking through the green tunnel and we ran across hundreds of spider webs that got in our arms, in our faces. Uh, it was kind of, kind of discomforting to keep running into those spider webs. But Margaret, she took the lead a lot of that time and uh, she was undeterred. Even when I asked her if that was gonna affect our next hike, no way, she was gonna go on the next hike as well. And uh, we ran into a little problem on down the road when we ran into a snake. I gotta admit that snake was a little unusual in its actions and its behavior. And uh, kind of like Indiana Jones and Raiders of the Lost Ark, Margaret, I think, shares some apprehension uh, with Indiana Jones. And that became a little obvious on that trail. Okay, all right. Look at his belly. Does that show anything that means something? He's white, he just, he just looks like a black snake. Okay, let's go away. Can you come this way? I'm going to try. Okay. I don't like that I'm afraid, but I am. Look how he's rocking. He's ready to strike. Okay, so you go deep on the grass side there. Thank you for accommodating my fear. Oh, you're okay. I'm so impressed that you're not afraid at all. Well. It doesn't want to hold us. It just wants us to go away. Yeah. Okay, we survived that. It's going to take us four and a half to five hours. And, uh... Margaret is absolutely loving this, and so am I. This birdhouse fell from up there and smashed open, and looks like there were wasp nests in there, along with the bird nests. Hmm, hope it was a compatible relationship. The thing about Cross State Park is there are horses. These are horse yeah. trails. Sorry. No, you're good. There are horse trails, and uh, we're gonna cross the, cross the causeway here, and then we'll get into the trees, and from then on, we'll be in the green tunnel for the rest of our hike. We started out at seven o'clock this morning, a few minutes before. It's supposed to get up to 96 degrees. That's why we wanted to get out early. And here's the spillway going across the causeway here. And um, we'll disappear into those trees and be in that green tunnel we were talking about. Is this fun or what? It is, it's amazing. <laughs> So way over there is where they have the kayaks, the fishing pier, cars parked at the lake. And we were over there, it seems like just minutes ago, maybe 15. 20. Yeah. This is a new bridge. This wasn't here before. And we'd have to walk through muck and mud and come over to the side. And now Margaret gets to not get dirty. Happy Yay. that these guys came in and fixed this. Because that's Lake Johnson up there. And when it would get full, it would spill over and it made a really steep ravine full of trees. It wiped out trails. It was creating a lot of damage. And they fixed it up really nice. Yay! Now we're between Lake Craig and Lake Johnson. And uh, when the water gets high, it spills over and goes down that little causeway that we just passed. Look at the sparkling water with the sun. That is so neat. We've been hiking for an hour and 15 minutes. We've gone around a large portion of the lake here and there's the causeway way over there that we started out on. This hairy vine going up the tree is actually a poison ivy vine. 
but it's pretty dead right now. Well, yes. We're taking a break after four miles. And um, I'm getting a video of Margaret there eating her sandwich too. <laughs> but this is a nice place. I stop here all the time. These rocks on the trail. And uh, just really enjoying our hike. You have been going first, clearing out all the spider webs for me, and I really, really appreciate it. You're welcome. How are you feeling about that? Oh, I'm feeling very webby. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it goes. Where is he? Right there. Okay, so <laughs> Margaret let out a yell, and uh, she's done that about three times so far when she goes through a spider web, and now this spider is attached to her trekking pole. Okay, it's okay if you yell a little bit when you get one of those on you. Oh, thank you. It spares me from doing something unmanly like yelling when I get one on me. That's why you're going first. So okay. this is a muscadine. It's not ripe, but they grow up and become very ripe and very sweet and delicious. And you can smell them all the time you're hiking. Yep. So these are nuts that the squirrels love to eat. And um, they are sweet, but it is harder than and then the devil to crack these things open, but the squirrels do a good job. Oops, am I even getting this in the video? And uh, yeah, they taste really good, but there's, it's so hard to work for the meat in these things. What do you have here? I don't know, it's kind of like a woolly worm, but he not was entirely. Really moving? Oh, now he's not because he's afraid, but he was really he hauling a while ago. Dead. He is acting just like, what are they called? Possums? Yeah. Mm. Awesome. Yep. Oh, you look cool. You look really cool. Why are you coiled like that? Maybe it's not what we think it is. Yeah, maybe it's not a black snake. You need to get your, um, your knife out. No, I don't want to hurt it. What if it hurts us? He won't. He'll let us go by. You coming? Me? Yeah? I don't know. Oh, okay. Hang on. Okay. All right. Look at his belly. Does that show anything that means something? He's white. He just he just looks like a black snake. I think he wants us to go away. Okay, let's go away. Can you come this way? I'm gonna try. Okay. I don't like that I'm afraid, but I am. Look how he's rocking. He's ready to strike. Okay, so you go deep on the grass side there. Thank you for accommodating my fear. Oh, you're okay. I'm so impressed that you're not afraid at all. Well. Yeah. Okay, we survived that. Oh, did you video me being afraid? I don't know. Oh, Where are you afraid? I think it sees me now. Oh, Perry, I'm videoing my fear. Okay, so we left the snake about a quarter of a mile behind us, came up this trail. This is the road that leads into the park. We're going to cross over here and kind of follow a frontage trail for a little bit. Mark, are we still alive? Yes. Yeah, we are, aren't we? We recovered. We from recovered the snake, from the yeah. snake. It is heating up though. Yeah, and how many miles have we covered so far? 7.6. And uh, 19,348 steps. Okay, and let's see. We started out at seven, and it's what time? Um, that would be 10.45. 10.45, okay. Well, we'll just continue until we're done. So this is just a picnic area. It's where the scouts often come and do programs and have all kinds of activities. And, uh, Vicky came here one time with a church activity and sang a song. She sounded like Joan Baez back then. And uh, Joan Baez was a very popular singer at that time. I'm looking at this limb right here, thinking it fell from a tree, and thinking this is what they call a widowmaker. We're going to find out. Yep, it's a widowmaker. Falls from a tree and impales itself into the ground, and we hope that we're not underneath it when that happens. Mm -hmm. Hence the word Widowmaker. Remember when we were over there going across the dam? Yes, I do. And the causeway over there? <laughs> yes, I and do. And we went all the way around it's there, the and sunrise. here we are. Yes, we're alive. And uh, see the little minnows down there? I do, they're tiny. You would not catch a flounder. Nope. Home stretch. They're all 
Gulper. They must love this, uh, these flowers. So there's an egret. I don't know if anybody can see it. We're coming in our home stretch. There are the boats that they have at Cross State Park. There's the fishing dock. Ah, there she goes. Look at that. And there she is. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You were taking care of Savannah while we were on our hike. Yeah. That is so appreciated. <laughs> Don't you think, Margaret? Yes, I do. Thank yes. you, Vicky.